Hey all, this is Brian again, and as you can see, it's a beautiful autumn day here in Minecraftia. But I'm here in Hyde's Tower with a special request for all of you. It's a bit involved, so I figured I'd make a video of it. So, here's what I would like all of you to do, if you could for me. Find your way to the Hyde's Tower docks, and make yourself a boat and head over to my secret underwater base, which I will be showing you the location of for the first time. It is over this way, past the pigs. So you head right out here. look for some reeds underwater. They'll be pretty obvious once you get close enough. Also a few other boats hanging around, and there's some light. But you can see the reeds now if you look carefully. And when you get there, just ditch the boat and head on down like this. You'll find the entrance, and here we are. I'd like to give some credit to uh, Bronzite and Mike14, both of whom found this facility before I was able to make a video of it. And if you go over here, you will find a very, very deep pool of water. Dive into it. You won't drown, I promise. There are some signs halfway through that will replenish your air supply. When you get down to the bottom, you'll see that I have constructed a mob trap. This is uh, an ethos lab design. It's very, very efficient. These half blocks here are uh, to prevent spiders from spawning, so this will give you only creepers, zombies, and skeletons. Um, there's one problem with this, however, which is that a mob trap is only as effective as uh, mobs spawn in it. And mobs will spawn in it with a probability that is dependent upon, among other things, how many other dark spaces there are in the surrounding 144 blocks. Unfortunately, this mob trap turns out to be right in the middle of a gigantic cave system that I have nicknamed Cavern McLarge Huge. I have tried my level best to go and clear this out. I have lit up cavern after cavern after cavern, I found my way all the way back to the Jansen mine at Hyde Tower. That's how far this stretches. It's just cave after cave after cave. And as you can see, there are still quite a few dark areas that I just haven't gotten a chance to light. Um, and that is what I would like you guys to help me with. Spelunking. It's easy to get lost in here, but... Uh, there are quite a few different entrances to various places, and uh, if you guys could give me a hand and uh, clear out the mobs from here and light them up so that they can't respawn, then uh, later on you will be the beneficiary of lots of delicious drops from Mob Grinder. That's pretty much it. So, uh, yeah. Hopefully I'll see you guys here sometime in the next few days, and I'm not going to fall in that lava.